Well, Tim Cook finally breaking his silence. Uh, the Apple CEO revealing in an interview what was said during his private meeting with President Trump at the White House back in late April. Cook informing that he not only uh, pushed the president on DACA and immigration issues, but he told President Trump that his push for tariffs on Chinese imports was not the right approach to trade. So much to talk about here today in is Congresswoman Martha McSally from the great state of Arizona. It's so great to have you here. Thanks for having me on. Well, immigration in Arizona to go yeah. hand in hand. Let's start there. His comments about DACA, he said he was pushing the president. He doesn't like what the president has done with the Dreamers. Now, of course, it's in the court system. Yeah. Let's start with DACA and your feelings on DACA. Is there a fix that you think would be best for the Dreamers? Uh, look, I'm, the president has been leading on this issue. He appropriately kicked it to Congress because the last administration overreached when they came up with DACA in the first place. Mm -hmm. And I've been working with the president and leading on in the House on this issue. We've got to address the very real root issues that are impacting districts like my constituents that I represent. Southern Arizona. Southern Arizona. Yeah. I represent a southern border district, fifth generation ranchers. We need real border security to include the border wall fully funded, plus the agents and all the technology and intel that they need. We got to close these loopholes that the cartels are taking advantage of. We got to crack down on sanctuary cities, uh, the gangs and all that goes with that. And then the president has shown he's willing to do something reasonable on DACA, but we've got to make sure that we're not creating more incentives for more illegal activity. Mm -hmm. And so my bill is the only bill in the House that the president supports, and we're going to keep working until we get it across the finish line. Yeah, well, but I have to also say, when it comes to immigration, you know, the, a lot of the president's critics went after him, of course, the wall, you know, this big controversial wall. But from your perspective, where you're sitting in the southern part of Arizona, you say that we need that wall. And Absolutely. We've got to have Look, walls work. And we've seen when we put them up in areas like Yuma, and you combine it with having the agents down there and closing loopholes and better cooperation, it's to deterring the activity, but then it pushes it into areas that I represent. If they don't have barriers, then you see the cartels trafficking through mm -hmm. there. So we've got to have a border wall. We've got to have the agents, the access, the intelligence, close those loopholes. Yeah. Look, this is not politics. The Democrats have been playing politics with this issue. Sure. Uh, they used to think border security was okay, but now they're <laughs> against it just because it's President Trump's idea. And my constituents that I represent are tired of the Democrats playing politics with this. We've got cartels trafficking through their neighborhoods. Right and, they, now. and they've been living with it for, for living their it for entire lives, we should say. There's a lot. Look, you've got a lot going on right now. You're going to be heading to North Korea. I want to talk about South this. Korea. But yeah. South yeah, Korea. Yeah, oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. South Korea. Yeah. Sorry. But we just got some news breaking on, on North Korea and South Korea. The North Koreans are saying they're not going to meet with the South Koreans. We, we're kind of in a diplomatic uh, pickle right now, if you will. They're threatening maybe not to talk to President Trump, not do the summit. As you prepare for your trip to South yeah. Korea, what is your message going to be, and how do you find how do you make that trip a success in your opinion? Well, I'm heading out there and leading a CODEL next weekend. We want to be able to get to the DMZ, talk to the leaders, uh, the diplomatic leaders, and the military leaders there to be able to get eyes on and see what's happening. And look, this president has put us in a historic opportunity, uh, but we are going in, as the president has said, very clear-eyed that we've seen the North Koreans in the in the past play games with this, talk the talk, but then not change their behavior. Mm -hmm. uh, so all of the hard work is really in front of them, and the North. North Koreans have to decide whether they want to continue to suffer under the maximum pressure campaign, which will yeah. only get stronger with President Trump's leadership, or whether they're willing to actually uh, find a path but, forward. Uh, but how for worried are you about this news that the North Koreans? I mean, I'm can concerned cancel about the summit. It. I mean, I, this a lot of work has gone into this already yes. with Pompeo. We should be clear. yeah. Look, they're playing games. Uh, you know, this is just breaking news. We got to see how this develops. These yeah. he's got to show strength internally. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen them play these games before, so we got to keep moving forward. Forward, keep yeah. the maximum pressure campaign and keep our eyes focused on we need a verifiable, irreversible denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. That's our objective. And then we got to keep our eye on the ball. And the president's leading on this. And yeah. this historic opportunity is here. We, and we, we laid new sanctions on Iran today. Quick comment on that as well. Uh, they absolutely need it. Look, I've deployed to that region six times I when know. I wore the uniform. <laughs> uh, Iran continues to be the largest state sponsor of terror. They're continuing to destabilize the region and threaten our strong ally, Israel. And we need to get the vice grip starting to crank back up on them again, and I, to I totally support the increased sanctions and pulling out the You were the first female fighter pilot deal. to fly in combat. You were in Iraq yes, and Afghanistan and Saudi Arabia, and you're running for Senate. And you know, a lot going yeah, on. Now I deploy to D.C., <laughs> new combat zone. <laughs> you uh, do. Yep. It is one. That's it true. Is, it is. Congresswoman Martha McSally Thanks from Arizona. It's so great to have you on the show. Yeah, good to see you. All right. Come back soon, We please. will, for sure. Definitely.